And so, like, you know, and, and one of the reasons why we can, you know, look at why we will look at this is, you know, why it even matters is because, like, you know, there's a lot of kind of consequences of this, like looking at group versus solo content. Uh, one of the first things that we look at is um, uh, limited dev resources. Um, what gets the focus? And this is kind of like a big discussion that everybody always talks about, um, you know, especially like, kind of like, you know, raiders versus, uh, um, uh, raiders versus, you know, casual people. You know, the casual people look at the, the dev resource poured into um, raiding and they're like, well, why is this such a thing? Um, you know, because people have kind of strong preferences for their own thing. You know, people who are raiding want to raid and people who, uh, who you know, just kind of want to grind up a, uh, um, a character, you know, a solo, want to grind up a character solo. Um, Bunny suits. <laughs> um. But and like and kind of I, I mentioned before, like you know, one of the one of the things you're looking you know, look at is you know the achiever focus uh, means efficiency. Like you know how yeah, you know, like you know the drive towards catering to achievers means catering to efficiency. And a lot of times, you know, one of the problems you run into is that other people are potentially inefficient. <gasps> if you have a, a bad with you. Or if you have somebody saying, "Oh, worse than you," like you know, they're they're gonna, you know, they they're potentially gonna slow you down worse if you have to me. rely on them. I know it's hard to think, but there are people who play the game worse than you. No, challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think the other thing that we gotta look at too is you know, like uh, um, kind of a focus on more storytelling in modern games, and this is you know, you know, I've talked about this on my blog a bit, where we have kind of like two different stories in the game. You have the developer story and the player story. The developer story is basically like you know what we see and you know what you kind of experience through cutscenes in the game, uh, and the player story is a lot more kind of a personal thing. It doesn't even mean like you know RPing or whatnot. It can just mean like hey, then we did this dungeon and then you know oh we wiped a couple times, but then we kind of figured out the strategy, like you know that type of uh, information, you know, that kind of. Uh, uh, story you know is uh is not what we're talking about here we're talking more about the cutscene type thing a lot of times the story you know uh, the more the most compelling story tends to be the one where you know your character is the big hero uh, i think that the two games that kind of come to mind immediately for me is guild wars 2 uh and final fantasy where uh in both these games like you know your character is playing this pivotal role <laughs> in the story that happened you know that basically is, is shaping the realm of course, you kind of have to squint and put on the blinders and ignore the fact that everybody else is going through that exact same story, um, which is hilarious when you start getting to role playing in Final Fantasy fourteen. <laughs> it is. It's fantastic. Yeah. Right. It's like you know, because in the story, it's like you're the singular hero, and you go back and you're like, no, nah, I'm just a schlub. You know, <laughs> I'm just a dude who does things. And then you get that uh, one person that is <laughs> insistent on role playing that they're the canonical warrior of light. Right. 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 He's just like, nah, no, you're not. <laughs> right, right, right. But yeah, I think this kind of focus on storytelling and, 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 you know, and having this, you know, kind of very deep and personal story that you're involved with kind of pushes it more toward um, a solo focus because, uh, you know, um, because, you yeah, know, telling, telling group-based stories is hard. We haven't done that. Like, you know, the, the only thing that I've ever been able to find that kind of relates to this is, like, the oral traditions um and you know like where people kind of like well they'll jump in and and the closest we kind of have to that is like you know the kind of the rocky horror picture show where it's less about interacting and more about you know the audience becomes part of the performance as well besides just you know what's happening on the screen or stage or whatnot mm -hmm. um but uh, you know like shared experience yeah a shared experience exactly and it, but you know that's really hard to do i mean i think world of warcraft did that a bit because like you know your character is more just kind of like a, a bystander and a lot of the kind of the, the grand things that go on um which you know basically means you know the story is more consistent between different players but also it also means that you know sylvanas and 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 and, and all this stuff you know they're off doing their things and you're you're just kind of like you know in the background going hi mom <laughs> you know feeling more like an extra rather than a star um and so yeah i think that uh you know yeah like i i because uh, you're talking about like your character and the story and whatnot um mm. the only game that i can think of that handled that well enough was um like final fantasy 11 
because mm. you had like your character everyone's character was the crystal bearer kind of mm. kind of like eleven's version of the warrior of light mm. but outside of those cutscene those very specific cutscenes like the entire game was group based like yes right. you'd have your 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 character's cutscenes but most of the time your character also wasn't the main focus of the story they are more mm. of a viewing portal into the story and the NPCs that you're interacting with would actually be like the right. uh the main focus all right right so it's a little bit more like the kind of the world of warcraft uh you know storytelling you know, mm. system so i think we are we were going to talk a little bit more about storytelling stuff a little bit later so <gasps> right now if we get to it i have a lot of content to go through but yeah we might um, end up splitting this into multiple sessions right right um so so looking at group content so like you know this is one you know again this guy kind of like you know